Let's now go to the Pentagon, where CBS News national security correspondent David Martin has the very latest information on the raid that killed Osama bin Laden. David, good morning. Good morning, Chris. As Bill has reported, President Obama gave the order on Friday to send American commandos deep inside Pakistan to attack bin Laden's hideout, which turned out to be a million-dollar villa. The clandestine attack, executed by up to 25 special operations forces working for the CIA, took place early Monday morning in Pakistan at a large compound in an affluent suburb of the capital of Islamabad. Two Black Hawk helicopters approached the hideout. One of them suffered a mechanical failure as it came in and made a hard landing. The commandos, mostly Navy SEALs, stormed out of the helicopters and into a three-story building at the heart of the compound. A firefight erupted. Bin Laden is said to have resisted, but was killed inside the building, along with one of his sons, two couriers, and a woman used as a human shield. The raiders took bin Laden's body with them for positive identification, but had to leave the damaged helicopter behind, blowing it up. In accordance with Muslim custom, bin Laden has to be buried within 24 hours of his death, and officials say he is being buried at sea from the deck of a U.S. Navy warship. Now, Chris, this compound was eight times larger than any of the surrounding homes in this suburb, uh, popular with retired Pakistani military officers. And U.S. officials say the Pakistani government is going to have a hard time explaining how bin Laden could have been living there without anyone knowing. Well, it doesn't sound like this was some clandestine cave, obviously, but how did the U.S. actually find out that he was at this compound, as large as you say as it was? By tracking his favorite courier over a period of years. They finally found where the courier lived last August, and when they started zeroing in on this compound, they saw this was no ordinary compound. It had uh, walls uh, something like 12 feet high, barbed wire on the walls, and despite it being a million-dollar residence, it had no telephone or Internet service, and the people who lived there uh, burned their trash rather than putting it out for collection. And then finally, after months of surveillance, they saw that the number of people living in that compound coincided with the number of people thought to be living with bin Laden as members of his immediate family. So it sounds as though he was actually hiding out in the open. Uh, David, let me ask you about, uh, as far as did the U.S. ask for any type of permission from the Pakistani government before taking action? No, and they didn't even inform the, the Pakistani government that uh, this was happening. The Pakistani government found out about it. Uh, when things started going boom at this uh, at this villa. All right, David Martin for us at the Pentagon this morning. David, thank you very much.